Just another one of those days again. I'm just on the job delivering pizzas. Hoping to save up enough money to maybe upgrade my house a bit more. Oh hey, what's what's going on? Hello, how are you? But welcome back to the channel guys today. We are in Bloxburg with Peter's Bloxburg Life. It's been just a little while since I last posted this. I think I'm done working. I'm just working as a delivery person and I have made $6,000 so far with it within 8 minutes, which is actually pretty decent for level 10, actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and cash that out. Look at that. Wow. See, if you work hard, you'll get your monies. I made a couple changes to the house. So first things first, I finally added plants over here and I fixed this thing. For some reason, it wouldn't let me place a fence here, but I finally tried again today and somehow I can use it. It's great. I feel great. I feel awesome. Not too much of a difference in the inside. It's just I moved stuff around and the living room is now facing this way instead of facing the window. And I still don't have curtains, so if anybody wanted to creep up on me, well, that's... That's not good, actually. That is not good at all. So let me close the door. So that's, I think, all I've done. I just basically faced the living room this way, and I upgraded my TV. And... Um, I also, if you didn't notice, I also sold my restaurant. I actually had a restaurant right here, for those that don't remember. Um, I think that was the last episode, or maybe two episodes ago. I had a restaurant here, I was thinking of making a fast food restaurant just to also like, you know, run a business and make some quick money from that, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna save the rest, the restaurants and like all those other things for my main account. So yeah, we just got rid of that. I'm sorry, I, that was basically just a waste of time. And um, today's episode, I think we're gonna upgrade a bit more. I know my fans look weird right now, like the spinning fans. Let me just move those. I only moved the fan there because um, I had to move my furniture around. Okay, let me put that back there. Let's make a few adjustments to this house because right now it is looking pretty ugly. It's not that great looking at the moment. Um, first of all, I think I'm gonna make the windows not blue. So let's just um, make those like actually like gray or... Yeah, let's do a smoky gray. Um, but we're just gonna change up the color scheme. So now it is actually a lot more normal looking. It's not just blue. Um... Don't know if I'm feeling the concrete. Maybe I could change this up a bit too. So maybe this front part could be brick. This groutless brick. Ooh, let's do a little bit of warm light. Like 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 the uh, uh, I keep passing it. Okay. The linen lights. So when you when it's nighttime. Looks a little bit nicer. We're doing another house upgrading episode kind of. I don't really have other plans at the moment. Um, but we're just gonna first of all upgrade the house a bit. This is Pita Bread Burr. He's definitely not the same as Pita Bread. So his favorite color would be like gray or something. I should build a garage actually. Hmm, what if I put a garage right next to it? No, I don't know. I wonder what this will look like if I actually just made the whole house like a groutless brick. Should I just change up everything in the front? Wow, $600 for that. That is wild. Okay, we'll just put one down. Getting different. All right, now we definitely need to change the inside of the house. I want to make this different, so let's add a fence like here, or I could make this whole area wooden flooring. We definitely need to upgrade our computer because that, def that definitely needs to be upgraded. That was a horrible computer. So we'll have the iSlim computer. The iSlim, what? Not enough space. Let me move my stuff then. And we should have room now. Yay. This is what, okay. So the next game pass that I really want for this um, series is probably going to be the advanced placement. I think that will save me a bit. So now I want to change the walls around the place. We'll just dye the inside of the house gray. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, I think that's okay. We're going to add some curtains for our privacy because we don't want creepers just like staring th right through our windows and like, you know, causing panic if I had guests over. I think the reason why I don't like it right now is because there's not much furniture in the living room, the actual like living room area. I don't know, everything's turning gray. <laughs> it's so different now. Okay, I just need to add more stuff. I really just need to add more stuff around. What is my philosophy? If you if you feel like something's missing, if you need to add something for your house, you have no other, other ideas, add a carpet because that will definitely spice up your room a bit. So little, little bench, rustic bench, because um, we need a place to sit down. And I'm gonna put some boxes under. What if I just completely redid, redid the house? I feel like it would be extremely refreshing if I just redid the house just completely. Or maybe I should have two stories for the next game pass. 
Maybe I should redo the house. Let me let me know, guys, if you feel like maybe I should just redo another house. Flint for this room. It's way too bright. It blinds my eyes, actually. Oh my gosh, there's so many new upgrades for this house. I still need to do something over here though. <laughs> Maybe I should just add a... Maybe what if what if I just completely added another like room here? It's so random though, honestly. This is probably be the most random room in the house. There's carpets everywhere, okay? Not really everywhere. There's only three carpets in this room. That's not too bad. See, this is why I need advanced placements. You can't really put things up so close to the wall. Oh, that looks fine. All right, I'm actually thinking of adding a fireplace instead. I think that would be better. I'm just gonna get rid of this table. Move this up a bit so I can add a nice fireplace. Um, that's a basic one. What about traditional? Yeah, we'll just go with the basic. I don't even have a doorbell, do I? Oh, <gasps> wow, I don't even have a doorbell. Um, and once again, since I don't know what to add on my walls, we're just gonna place some random boomerang. Alrighty, so I have finished a bit of the revamping. I'm not sure, I mean, obviously this is still not 100% complete. It's getting better. It's the house is getting more and more furnished. Oh, actually, you know what, I'm missing trees. I need more trees around my house to make it look more natural. Let's just add a, bu a bunch more trees, you know. More trees gonna hurt. There we go. Oh yeah, that's that's a tiny bit better, I think. All right, so let's go inside. Um, so the walls are different, floor is different. Over here, I separated the carpet from the wooden floor. Oh my god, this house is beautiful. Can I live here? Wait a second, why does this house look so good? Excuse me? Oh my god, there's so much more detail with that house than this one. This one's so plain. <laughs> I'm so sad. Why can I be that good at decorating? So anyway, back to my house. So I'd say the inside's looking way better than the outside. I think the inside definitely looks way better than the outside of the home. So here's this. Oh god, they're gross coming over. Oh my god. I'm gonna peek through my window. Uh, the kitchen also looks a bit more cozy. It just has that more, it has a more cozy feel to it. And I made the appliances green for some reason. This is basically the guest bedroom. So I didn't put too much effort into it. I just put a random bed and a dresser because that's really all you need if you're gonna stay here for only like a day or so. I mean, unless someone wants to live in here, but um, you I don't know. I don't think I don't plan on having anyone live with me, really. I think the house looks way better than it did before, although it's not 100% done. So you gotta keep on waiting for this house to be completely finished. Can I go to this girl's house and, uh, you know, just just check it out? Wow. Let me let me just. Wow. Look at the detail though. Like she has so much detail around her house. Mine can't relate. Look at that. That's just hideous. Where does she go anyway? I saw her walk over here. Did she go to like some other? planet i don't know but look at this area over here oh my gosh this is a dream house oh <gasps> wow nice home oh my goodness this is pretty oh my gosh she even has a pool up in here oh <gasps> wow what is this are these coffee beans <laughs> that looks like a coffee bean maybe it's a cocoa bean i i don't know it looks like coffee actually it looks like it looks like coffee. This is like her outdoor like hangout kitchen. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this. She got she got foods on the top there. Wow. That's that's pretty. Yes, you stink. You should stay in the swimming pool. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, okay. I was just taking a look, don't mind me. Look at this. Wow. Can I have this house? Like I would totally love to live here. Oh my god, I want to see the inside of this place. Okay, oh my gosh. All right, well, there's my house upgrade. This was another upgrading episode. Um, if you found it boring, I apologize. But this is, you know, a PETA's Bloxburg Life series where we just try our best to get rich and upgrade stuff. And I guess that's the point of the series is to see progression. This is progress over time. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and what I should do with this. Maybe I should keep... Should I keep it or should I just make a brand new home and just try to do a better job with it because I think this one's okay. I just, I don't know. This was a very simple home. Maybe I should try something more like complicated. 
make it more detailed. I can definitely pay for it because my job is starting to get better now with level 10. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Peter's Blocks for Life episode. It was another upgrading. Wow. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a big old thumbs up. And if you guys want to continue watching any other Roblox videos on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button you haven't already. It is completely free and you'll be notified of when I upload. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. And I will talk to you guys in the next upcoming video. So stay tuned. Stay awesome. Have a wonderful day. Peter Brett signing out. Goodbye, everybody.